Hi there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK into your homes, and welcome to my channel. If it's the first time you're passing through, you're welcome to give a thumbs up, share, subscribe, comment, give some feedback. Yeah, that's all good. And um, I wanted to talk about the revocation of the two senior two, two senior officials, Jamaican officials who've had their visas revoked. Today, Glasmi, big up Glasmi, sent um, SoFlo's video on their revocation, big up SoFlo. Um, and he was talking about um, them having their visas revoked, along with some policemen and there was some kind of inference that there might be something fishy going on why they had their visas revoked. Um, he also said, which is absolutely true, a visa is not a right. You're not entitled to a visa. Visas are a privilege and a lot of people, they believe that once they've paid for an application, once they're above board, they have got no criminal offences, they are legal and um, all those kind of things that they're entitled. And then when you see high profile people, um, they automatically feel entitled. They feel as though they have diplomatic immunity and that they should just sail through. Well, I was kind of, I took a different take on it. I don't think it's got anything to do with any misdemeanors they may or may not have done. I think it's got to do with the Chinese footprint, the deepening Chinese footprint in Jamaica. Now, the ambassador, um, Chinese ambassador in Kingston, he had a spat with American commander. I think that was around the 9th of November. And a lot of it's been brewing. They, this thing of America having a bee in their bonnet about China in Jamaica has been brewing for some time, but it's been kept under cover. Um, it's only been kind of brought out in the open um, since early November to mid-November. I think it's got something to do with that, especially when you think in 2017, um, America revoked Sit the um sit the sorry the visas of six senior officials. Back then there was three senior attorneys, and that was because they refused to cancel a um, license to Symbiotic Limited. In the end, I think Jamaica backed down and cancelled the license, but they refused their visas in retaliation. So I don't, I've got a funny feeling that this is what this is about. I think that America is being revengeful. I think they're trying to teach Jamaica a lesson. They're saying to themselves, well, if Jamaica wants to allow China, China to deepen their footprint, well, these are the consequences. They've made their bed, they lie in it. They're not listening to us, so therefore we're not allowing them into our country. And I think it works better when you have senior officials because it sends a stronger message. It's telling them, I don't care who you are. I don't care how high up you are. You are not coming into our country. Because they see when you side with somebody else, they see it as a betrayal. I mean, on the one hand, um, Jamaica's sovereignty gives them the right to do as they like, but there are consequences. For pleasing yourself, there are consequences. And yes, you are getting a lot of benefit from China in the in the way um, in the way Jamaica is being built up. But America doesn't like it. They doesn't they do not like the fact that China is getting a deeper and deeper hold over Jamaica. That is not a part of their plan. And so, as far as they're concerned, if that's what you want to do, if you're not listening to us, if you're not taking our advice, then we're not allowing you into our country. That's just my thought on it. I may be way off course. I tend to look too far into things. But as I was listening to Soflo, that's what I that's what came to my mind, as opposed to them doing anything that is not quite kosher. I mean, they may or may not be doing something that's kosher or not kosher. I have no idea. But I think knowing what the Americans are like, 
they will show their power. They will deal a heavy hand any way they feel fit, any way it fits their purpose. And this is one way of doing it. Well, I'd like your comments. You might think I'm way off, and that's okay. That's all for now. Bye-bye.